Hello everyone, let's solve another conceptual problem came in gate 2020 exam. This problem was taken from engineering mechanics equilibrium of rigid body and you have to find the reaction force at point C. What is different in this problem? If you will see carefully, the joint B is a hinged joint. Normally we have a single beam and we have to find the reactions but in this case the B joint is a pin joint and therefore the problem is little tricky. So to solve this problem, what are the concepts you require? You must know how to make the free body diagram. You should know what are the reacting force with, for, with respect to different supports. For example, we are having a fixed joint here, a pin joint and a roller joint. So we will see that what would be the reacting force when we are making free body diagram. Once we have the free body diagram, we have to apply the equation for equilibrium and then we can solve those equations to get the reaction. This is really a basic problem and similar problem had asked our gate exam. In that problem, the reaction at point A were asked, reactions at point A were asked. However, in the given problem, you have to find the reactions at point C. So both problems are similar. If you understand that how to make the free body diagram and how to calculate reaction, the problem will not be too difficult. So let's start with the different types of joint. Normally we encounter with three types of joint, fixed joint, pin or hinged joint and the roller joint and suppose you want to make the free body diagram and you are removing these joints so what will be the forces because of the joint so in case of fixed joint when you are removing the fixed joint you are going to apply three forces two force and a moment so you have to always remember that whenever you are having a fixed joint and you are removing the fixed joint there will be three reacting force it may be possible that the external force is only vertical force so there will not be any horizontal reaction but ideally there will be horizontal force vertical force as well as the moment and why so because we know that the fixed joint actually apply three constraint it constraint all the three degree of freedom no translational motion no rotational motion so the degree of freedom for a fixed joint becomes zero because it constraint two translational and one rotational motion. If you are removing the fixed joint, you are putting back all the three forces. So this is the free body diagram of a fixed joint. In case of a pin joint, you are allowing the rotational motion. That means the two degree of freedoms will constrain and there is one degree of freedom available for the given system. So when you are making a free body diagram, you are going to give only two forces. So this would be the free body diagram of a pin joint, no movement, only two forces. Similarly, in case of a roller joint, the roller joint is extension of a pin joint. It allows rotation at the same time, the rollers are free to move in a particular direction. For, the, in, for example, in the first case, the rollers are free to slide in horizontal direction. That means there are two degree of freedoms one rotation and one translational motion and the vertical translation is actually constrained. So when I am removing the joint, I am going to apply a reaction which will be perpendicular to the plane where the rollers are moving. So the reaction in the first case will be in the vertical direction. Similarly, in the second figure, the rollers are sliding on this surface. So my reaction will be perpendicular to this surface. So that would say that would indicate that this the angle will be 90 degree and that is how we can make the reaction by removing a roller joint. So let's apply these joints in beams and try to make the free body diagram. So when you make the free body diagram, actually what you do, you remove the support and instead of support, you add some forces and those forces are actually called the reaction as well as you also keep the external forces. For example, here we are having two beams and we want to make the free body diagram. The difference in the two beam is that the joint A in one case is a pin joint and in the second case it is a fixed joint. So I can replace the beam by making a single line. Joint A is a pin joint and I know that when we remove the pin joint we apply two forces no moment. So this would be AY, AX. This is my external force F and this is the reaction because of the roller, roller joint and here we know that the reaction will be only one and that will be perpendicular to the plane where the roller moves. So this is my free body diagram for the first problem and for the second problem in addition to all these forces there will be one moment and why that moment because here I am having a fixed joint. So I am going to apply two reacting force AY and AX. This is my external force and this is the force because of the roller joint 
in addition to these forces there will be a moment because of the fixed joint so i have to apply one m also here now you may think that why i am putting the right direction for ax and clockwise ama so these are the unknowns we don't know the correct direction so whatever direction you want to assume you can consider when you will solve the problem numerically your final answer will tell the direction was correct or not if your final answer is positive that means the direction uh, selected was correct otherwise you have to consider that it will be opposite to the assumption we will see it when we will solve our next numerical but once you have the free body diagram what would be your next job once we make the free body diagram we know that the system is in static equilibrium condition that means it is going to follow the law of statics and what is your law of statics we can apply force balance as well as the moment balance and in case of force balance we can apply the horizontal force balance as well as the vertical force balance so in the first case we can apply force and moment balance and generate equations which will give the unknowns in the first case we are having three unknowns ax ay and the by and f is given to us so let's write the equation for the horizontal force balance there are two horizontal forces one is the ax acting towards the right and another force is f cos theta that would be zero so this is my equation one which will give me the value of ax that will be minus f cos theta and the minus sign actually indicating that the actual direction of ax will be towards the left i have considered it wrongly so my f ax will be minus f cos theta similarly in this vertical force balance there are three vertical forces one ay plus by minus f sin theta and why this minus because these two forces are acting upward and suppose i am assuming upward forces are positive so this is my downward force f sin theta i am putting it with negative sign and that will be zero here we are having two unknowns so this equation is not sufficient and we have to go for the third equation that is the moment balance so when i will do the moment balance i have choice to apply that moment balance equation either at point a point middle point or the b point or any other point so here if i will take a moment balance at point a effect of ax and ay will go away because both the forces are passing from point a so what would be my forces that going to contribute i will have by into a plus b distance because it is given that there are a plus b distance so this is my force and this would be my perpendicular distance similarly if i will take the horizontal and vertical component of this f force the horizontal component is going to pass with the same point so no effect only the vertical force will have effect and that is f sin theta so in my equation the second moment will be f sin theta into a now what would be the sign of these two terms by is acting upward so it will try to rotate the entire body in the counter clockwise direction as the hinged point is towards the left side so it will be with the negative sign why negative sign because it is my assumption that i am assuming put clockwise positive and counter clockwise negative or you can uh, take a other sign convention but final answer will not change because one term will be positive and other term will be negative so ultimately you will get the same answer so here because of the f sin theta it is acting in the downward direction and it, is, it will try to rotate the entire system in clockwise direction when i will solve the third equation i will get the by when i will put by in the second equation i will get the ay and in this way you can calculate the required reactions when i will see the second problem here in addition to three unknowns the fourth unknown is ma and i have only three equations that means i can calculate maximum three unknowns and for the second problem the law of statics are not sufficient we have to use some more other equations so this problem actually come under the category of statically indeterminate structure we are not going to solve this problem here it is just for your information because normally you have to deal with the statically determinate structure so this is my statically indeterminate structure so i hope that you have understood that how to make the free body diagram let's solve three more problems so for practice here we are going to make the free body diagrams only we will not solve the equation so for the first case there is an external force f and this is a bend bar or beam and we are having one roller joint and a pin joint so let's make the free body diagram 
this is my a joint which is a pin joint so i know that there will be only two forces no moment so this is my a a, a y and this is my a x external force as it is joint b is a welded joint that means it is a single bar point c is a roller joint so the reaction will be perpendicular to this roller motion so my reaction at point c will be in this way and this is my c x so this is the free body diagram and i have only three unknowns so this problem is actually a statically determinate problem let's solve for the second case in the second case one joint has replaced by the fixed joint so all other forces will remain same the force at point a will increase by one moment so finally i will have three forces at joint a two forces and one moment in the third case joint b has become pin joint as well as the roller is now inclined so whenever we are having pin joint in our system we can make separate free body diagrams for example in this case i can make one free body diagram for a b section as well as i can make another free body diagram for the b c section so let's start with the point a point a is a fixed joint so i can put two forces and a moment here this is my external force f now what about point b point b is there on both the structures so in this case we have to understand that if in the first diagram i am considering the reaction force at point b in vertical direction the counterpart on the second diagram will be just have the equal and opposite force similarly if this is my horizontal force this would be the horizontal force no movement because it is a pin joint third one will be the uh, your roller joint and your roller is inclined so i know that this would be the direction of my roller reaction so here i will have reaction because of the roller so this is my now there are two free body diagrams that mean i can write six equations three equations for the first free body diagram and three equations for the second free body diagram and how many unknowns are there one unknown this reaction ax a y moment m three unknowns are here b x b y and r so there are total six unknown and now i have two free body diagram three equations for each free body diagram is total we are going to have six equation and there are six unknown so this problem is statically determinate problem so this is one of the objective that you may ask that whether the problem is statically determinate or indeterminate so you can find it by understanding the free body diagram and total number of unknowns and total number of equations after this i hope that you have a good understanding about the free body diagrams and how to calculate the reaction so let's solve the problem of gate 2020 exam this was your problem this is uniformly distributed load and this is your point load fixed joint pin joint and the roller joint here i am showing a line diagram here i have replaced this uniformly distributed load by a point load and how i did so i have multiplied the uniformly distributed load with the length that is 4 so 10 into 4 and i am going to put this at the center of these two points because the udl is acting from between point b to c that means i can put a single equivalent load at the center of the total length so this is at the middle of bc so i can put that this would be 2 and this would be 2 this is your 3 and this is your 3 as point b is a pin joint i can make two separate free body diagrams one for section ab another for section bc and here also when i will make reaction at b in the top figure equal and opposite will be in the bottom figure so let's start with point a a is a fixed joint so there will be three reaction two forces and a moment so this is my a y this is my a x and this is let's my m a point b is there in the two bodies so if i am going to put point b here in the downward direction it will be upward here so this is my b y if this is rightward this would be leftward so this is let's b x b x as this is a pin joint no movement will come here and joint c is a roller joint so i know there will be only one reaction force and that will be in the vertical direction so let's put this is my c y in addition to that the external forces so 50 kilo newton as well as the 40 kilo now i have two free body diagrams and here also i am having six unknowns that means this problem is also statically determinate problem and what are the six unknown ax ay ma bx by and cy so i can write six equations 
let's start for the second free body diagram so in this figure if i am going to balance the horizontal force balance there is only one horizontal force that is bx so bx will be zero for the horizontal force balance when i will do the vertical force balance in this equation there are three vertical forces two upward by and cy one downward so i can simply write by plus cy is equal to 40 but the, the, there are two unknowns so we need to go for the third equation and third let's write the moment balance at point b so i can write mb is equal to zero you have choice to put moment balance at any point in the rigid body but we generally follow a point where maximum forces are passing so here point b is a point if i am going to put moment at this point there may be possibility that i have to take more terms in my equation so normally we follow we consider a point where the maximum forces are passing so let's take the moment at point b so effect of bx and by will become zero because both are both forces are passing from this point so i am just writing the 40 into this perpendicular distance and cy into this perpendicular distance so my moment equation will be 40 into 2 and cy into 4 and what would be the sign here as I have seen that if I want to understand what would be the sense of this force so I can write make a simple diagram let's consider a small figure here point B as a pin joint and let's apply only 40 kN force not the CY here so it is going to rotate the entire body in the clockwise sense that means this is my clockwise moment and let's consider clockwise positive so CY is acting in the upward direction so the entire system will rotate in the counterclockwise sense so it will be negative and it is zero when I will solve the last equation, I will directly get the Cy is equal to 20 kilo Newton. That means this was a very simple problem. If you have knowledge about the free body diagram, you can directly make the free body diagram of second part. And if you will, you would have applied the moment balance, you will get directly the Cy is 20 kilo Newton. But suppose you have to find the forces at all other points because it may be possible that you would have asked to find the reaction at point A. So let's make the equation for the uh, this your first free body diagram. So when I will make the equation for the first free body diagram, horizontal forces will be AX plus BX is equal to zero. But from the first uh, free body diagram, we know that the BX is zero. So that indicate that AX will also be zero. When I will write the vertical force balance, there are AY by as well as your uh, 50 kilo newton is acting here so i have to write these three forces in my equation hence my equation will be ay minus by because by is acting in the downward direction as well as minus 50 is equal to zero and from this equation if cy is 20 your by will be 20 kilo newton so i can put ay minus 20 minus 50 is equal to zero and it will give me that ay is equal to plus 70 kilo newton so this is my second answer the reaction force at a now the moment so for the moment again i have to write the moment balance equation and we can apply moment balance equation at point a so let's do the moment balance at point a so there will be only two force as well as one external moment will come into the picture so 50 into 3 and by into 6 so my equation will be 50 into 3 by into 6 as well as the external moment so let's this ma is equal to 0 now put the sign 50 force is acting in the downward direction so it will try to rotate the entire system in the mm -hmm. clockwise direction so positive your by is also acting downward so it will also try to rotate the entire system in clockwise sense so it is also positive and you have considered your ma as clockwise that, that was your choice you have considered it clockwise so you are going to put positive sign again and finally when you will solve this equation by putting by is equal to 20 your ma will be 150 plus 120 that is minus 270 kilo newton meter and see this negative negative sign is actually indicating that whatever direction you have assumed was not correct you have considered the clockwise moment but actually the moment at a is counterclockwise so when i will put reactions here i know that my ax is zero so no horizontal force here vertical force is ay upward so one reaction will be ay that is 70 and one counterclockwise moment of magnitude 270 kilo newton so 
if you will see the problem that was in gate 2010 exam you have to find the reaction at point a and i request to solve this problem and cross check that whether you have learned this philosophy or not so with this note i am closing this session have a good day and thank you